as we've seen before, it's really hard to find that sweet spot between tapping into nostalgia and the appearance of a cash grab. And it's harder here because they already tried it once with Indiana Jones. But happily, they start out the gate with putting Dr. Jones right back where he's always at his strongest. Punching Nazis. The ultimate in baseline cinematic villains. And the clever de-aging tricks in the first part of the movie work for the most part. Veering off into unrealism toward the end isn't really the issue, it's more of Dr. Jones is always at his strongest when he's involved with Nazis and is doing something related to Christianity, likely due to commonality of experience with myth and legends in its primary audience. And it manages to slide into home with just the right callback. So closing out the franchise forever, it may not be the best of the films, but it's at least the third best film. 